welcome back to Melons. I'm Mel. I'm Linz. And today we're gonna share with you guys our May favorites. Yay, these are it, my favorite videos. It feels like we were just doing April favorites and now we're doing May, which is so crazy. The year's going by so quickly. Um, but so we're just gonna jump right in. Do you want to start us off? Sure. So I'm gonna start with what I think is my most boring product to talk about. And it's actually a fragrance and normally I wouldn't really talk about perfume on here because you guys can't smell it. So you can't see <laughs> that it's awesome. But I got a sample of it from when I did an order from MAC and I loved it so much that I bought the full size and I'm just so obsessed with it and I can't stop wearing it so I had to talk about it. But it's the MAC Creme de Nude fragrance and it's modeled after like one of their lipsticks. They did a whole like shade scents line and it's like... Smell it. Oh. It's like nothing I would ever wear. It's kind of vanilla musky, but for some reason I can't get enough of it. That's I love really it, nice. and I'm obsessed with it. It's just it's totally different. Normally I would go towards a more floral, fresh type scent. So my first product is a skincare product, and it is the Ole Henriksen, or as our mom likes to say, Ole Henriksen. We're not really sure which one it is or who's right. We really hope she isn't the right one because we've been making fun of her. Um, but it's the Truth Serum, and this is a little baby sample size of it. But I've been using this for like eh, two weeks now and my skin has looked amazing and it feels so soft and I love products with vitamin C in it so when I found this I was so excited. Um, it smells like a creamsicle and it's just amazing to put on your face. I like that when you put it on it's very smooth and soft and not like tacky or sticky feeling at all. Which I feel like sometimes serums on at least on my skin can feel tacky. Um, but this is a great serum and now I know why everybody raves about this. So I've officially joined the bat bandwagon. So I have another sort of boring-ish product. <laughs> this is the Farsali Unicorn Essence Skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum. I use this as a primer and I love it. As you know, because I say it probably at least three times on the <laughs> video, I have super dry skin and I have a problem with a lot of foundations caking up especially around my nose because that's my driest area and my skin looks so good when I put this on foundation sits on top of it so nice my foundation lasts for a while like pretty much the whole day so I just think this is such a great product and it's unicorn essence it just sounds <laughs> awesome how could you not want to own unicorn it unicorn is so in right now it comes in this dropper bottle it's this like pretty pink like serum -y stuff and it has this really fresh smell to it and I really love it I actually bought that too during the Sephora VIB sale and I love it as well. So my next product is actually the NARS um, Narcissist Palette. This is their newest eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like inside. I'm going to try not to blind you with this mirror. Um, I just, I love warm eyeshadow palettes and this is exactly that. They're all warm shades. I think the shades, there's a really good mix of um, metallic -y shades and then matte shades. And I just think it's going to be a really, really great palette going into summer. I feel like very sunset kind of eye looks are very in right now, so I'm excited to play with it more. I've really only played with like these shades in the middle here. I haven't really dipped into any of the darker shades yet, because for an everyday eye look, I normally tend to stay pretty neutral, but I'm excited to keep playing with it, and I've definitely been using this so much in the month of May. So my next product is also an eye product, and it is the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment. I've just been loving milk stuff lately. This is one of the first things that I've tried and then I also just bought the cooling stick which I'm excited to try and I have like a whole wish list from there but mm -hmm. this stuff is amazing I have it in the shade after party it's like this pink like shimmery kind of pinkish color which of course it's pink it's my favorite so it's just really pigmented it looks really great on the lid by itself or you can blend in some other shadows in your crease if you want to but it goes on really nice, stays on, it does not move once you put it on, so you have to work kind of quickly, but I wore it when we were in Disney World, and I put it on in the morning, and at night, 12 hours later, it was still there, still looked great, wow. so yeah, I am excited to try some other colors, because it's really awesome. Yeah, I really want to try some more milk products, I feel like they're all the rage. So my next product is actually the Marc Jacobs um, bronzer. This is the Tantastic Omega bronzer. This is the limited edition, like coconutty one. That thing was hard to get. This thing too. was so hard Let to get. Let me tell you, it's beautiful. Um, but our store during the VIB sale, our store actually had one left in stock, and I was like, okay, this is like fate. Like I have to buy this. And since I bought it, like it's the only bronzer that I've been using. 
it's just like it looks so natural on the cheeks and it's so easy to blend and i just i think the color just really suits my skin tone um so i've been really really enjoying this and i think this might be like might replace my laguna nars laguna is like my all-time like holy grail book holy grail bronzer but this is like really close to that so i don't know laguna might have some competition in my makeup drawer so i also have a bronzer and i also own the mark jacobs one and i love it it is beautiful if i feel like we talked about it in one of our other videos when we were trying to buy it and i was oh. like i have to get my hands on this and i'm so glad that i finally did but i absolutely refuse to travel with it because yeah, it's so expensive thing. and it's so beautiful and the packaging is so beautiful and i'm just too scared that something's gonna happen to it so, when I was traveling recently, I went out and got the Hula Light to travel with, and oh my gosh, I love it. I've never tried Hula, the regular Hula, before because I always felt like it was just a little too dark, a little too warm for my skin tone because I am super fair. So I was really excited when they came out with Hula Light, and this is what it looks like, and I really like it. It blends out nicely. It's just a really good shade for my skin tone it's fairly similar to the Marc Jacobs in like tone I would say like it's that kind of cooler yeah. toned bronzer but this is so great if you have fair skin so all my pale ladies out there if you, <laughs> I would totally go and check this out because I love it and it smells nice so my next product is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip Booster this is what it looks like and I think I saw Kathleen Lice use this in a video once, and I was like, that looks amazing, I need to have that. Because my lips get super trapped, chapped and dry, and I scrub them and use exfoliators and all that stuff, but nothing really helps. But this stuff has helped so much. Like, I use this as chapstick before I go to bed, or I'll use it when I'm doing my makeup as like a primer. It's the first thing I put on, and then wait until the end to do my lip color. But it makes your lips so soft and plump and smooth, and it's just really, really great, and it smells really good, I think. And it's not like thick and greasy yeah, it like doesn't, a lot of other lip products. No, and it's not sticky or anything like that. And it has this wand. It's like um, shaped like a lip, like the curvature of your lips. So it's really easy to kind of get in there. And So I thought that was kind of cool. But really great product. I really want to try the HD Skin Booster next. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. That looks good too. Yeah. yeah. So my next product, because what favorites video would not be complete without a highlighter in it somewhere and I actually had two that I was choosing between but I ended up going with this one because it's amazing so this is the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighter in the shade Kitten of course they're famous for their shade Kitten their eyeshadow is well known so of course they would have a beautiful highlighter also Kitten <laughs> and this is a really unique formula it it's almost it feels like a cream but then it kind of turns to powder when you put it on your skin but See if I can swatch it. Mm -mm -mm. You can see that. I don't know. But it's beautiful. It blends really nicely on the skin. It's a real it's not blinding, but I'd say it is buildable if you want it to go heavier or you can keep it on the more natural side, which I love, especially for kind of everyday, like day-to-day -day makeup looks. You don't necessarily want like whoosh. Yeah. So I love it for that, but again, you can build it if you do want it to be a little more intense. So I love it. I love the formula. I love the color. I love the packaging is so pretty. Mm. I love it. So I also have the Cap on D. These are her new uh, liner, lip liners, the Everlasting Lip Liner. And this is in the color Lolita, which is kind of her like most famous lip color. Um, I'm not really a big lip liner person. I never really thought I needed it. But I've been trying to get into it more because it does make putting on lipstick and especially liquid lipstick so much easier. They are so creamy and so soft on the lips. I've actually just been wearing this on its own like with no lipstick or anything over it because that's how creamy they are. And this color is absolutely beautiful. Um, I actually want to try the liquid lip because I think we just purchased that. Mm -hmm. Um, because I love this color so much. I think it's a beautiful color. I love the formula of these. Super creamy, super pigmented. Um, I definitely want to pick up more of these soon. And they're pretty inexpensive. I think it's only $18, which for lip liner, I feel like that's not too bad. So my last product is also a lip product, and it is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in Coco Kai. This was the first Kylie Cosmetic product that I tried, and I heard some mixed things about it, but I really love this. I'm always on the hunt for a good kind of cool-toned pink lip because I hate when things turn peachy or look orange on me, and... I don't know, it just drives me nuts. So I was so excited to find this because it's a, just a really pretty shade of pink and it 
dries down. It's not too heavy on your lips. It's not too drying. It feels really light. It lasts a long time. So if you wear this out to dinner, you're not going to have like lipstick prints on your <laughs> glass, which also drives me nuts. So I really like this. This has been my go-to liquid lip for if I'm going out. Wow. Yeah. So my last product is actually another skincare product, and it's the Origins Ginseng Peel Off Mask to refine, refine and refresh. And so it looks like it's like the silver, it's like metallic-y bottle. Um, I have been looking for this mask since Christmas, and it wasn't sold in our Sephora store, and you couldn't get it online for the longest time. And then finally, when I went to our Sephora last weekend, they had it, and I've used it twice now, and it is amazing. I love, love, love peel off masks. And this one just leaves my skin feeling so soft, and it smells good. Um, and I really love the Ginseng brand. I've actually got like a little sample set of like the eye cream and the um, cleanser. So I've been using a lot of those, testing out a lot of those products, and I was really excited to try this. But I think it's a great, if you love peel-off masks, I think this is a great one. It actually peels off, your, it exfoliates your skin, your skin feels so nice, and it didn't break me out, which was, it's a big thing with masks, because I feel like sometimes when they're like, really cleaning and like they draw the dirt out, my skin will break out, but this one didn't do that. So I'm excited to keep using this, but yeah. So those are our favorites for the month of May. I feel like we had a good mix of different products. Yes, May was a good month. May was a very good month, but we're excited to see what June will bring. Of course. Um, so thank you for joining us for this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below what your favorite products were in the month of May because we would love to hear about it and maybe we get to try out some new things too. Yeah. So thanks again for joining us and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.